In this tutorial, I want to draw a pepper in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. We'll start by drawing a hexagon or a pentagon, whichever it's not really important. Go to the star and polygon tool and put six here and then draw something like this. Rotate it such that it's something like this, more or less. Okay, that's good. Now we want to, we go for, I want to move mine here a bit so I have space. Now we go for our Bezier um, curve and straight line tool. And then I'm going to use B spline path to this one here. So just go there and we start to trace something here. Um, can start wherever I go here. I go up a bit and then come down and then this. Just to draw something like a heart, more or less. And maybe I go down a bit. Yes. Something like this. You 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 stretch. You move and click. You move and click. I will want it to go up a bit, maybe. Ooh, something like this. We want it to end like where we started from. And then you double click and you get something like this. It's not perfect, but we'll go for our edit part by notes to, to um, adjust things a bit so maybe we move this a bit here just for it i mean peppers they are not uniform so you can even use whichever thing you you draw but for us now i make it a bit smoother like something like yeah well maybe i move this one here a bit then move this in a bit maybe mm. you always have to touch the notes yeah the notes there are what i'm moving maybe here i moved it um down a bit more something like this i think is good and then I'll be moving this uh, down later. Let's push this in a bit like this. Move this here a bit like that. Maybe we, we distort it a bit because peppers are not really very um They come in different shapes and sizes, right? Okay. Let's move this down a bit. Okay, I think we are good. I think this, let's see here if I go out of this more or less. This the, we'll later put this in so it won't be like, but maybe I move this a bit down this place here. Go for my tool and then move this maybe up a bit. Oops. And then maybe this a bit up a bit more. And then this maybe we make it a bit like this. Ah, anything works. Something like this is good. Let's give it a, a red color because we are doing a red pepper. Now this we do a duplicate of this so 
uh, select this and do a duplicate and then move the duplicate somewhere here and then we, the duplicate should be be uh, first of all maybe we put the one behind so we 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 put the duplicate should always okay this we can put it down if it doesn't matter really this is down there's one up a bit and then we do another duplicate and the next duplicate we shift it to the right but we put it really we put it behind everything so then move it up a bit to cover what we have there let's see maybe here more or less and i move this down a bit and then i move this um let's move this the the, the one to the right way uh, behind so go here and select lower to bottom is that the one you know i was okay i was selecting something else this was supposed to be down here okay something like this you see this is behind it's a bit to the right and then we have this popping up a bit maybe we make this even higher this popping up a bit and then this going here we need a another one of this so we just take this we just do a duplicate i mean they are the same um, sizes so the, and then we place it as well such that it goes behind so this we move it below move it until it's behind everything and then place it somewhere here like this more or less this comes here a bit so the the distance from the bottom is not maybe we reduce the distance from the bottom a bit so we bring it down like this i think that this is this is okay this is good maybe and then yes this we bring this in and place it somewhere here more or less we are going to put a stick in you know uh, so that thing up there but for now and i think it's the pepper it's coming this is a different type of pepper this is different it's not necessary that it looks exactly because we, we are doing different types of peppers this goes in a bit maybe ah. okay now we continue and the next thing we want to do is for us to draw this thing here so we go for our rectangle tool and then draw the rectangle more or less like this and then we draw we go for our circle tool and then we draw a circle go to or oh, it's come it's not necessary it's round because this but i will make it a circle more or less something like this is sufficient let's see and then we we place it let's give the already change the color i'm using this color as a green so we change them so that they look we can envisage what we are doing better now we maybe i make this a bit bigger that was became too big anyway something like this is good we do a duplicate of this right click this and go to duplicate do a duplicate put one and uh, and put one here actually i need another duplicate do a duplicate of this and keep it here for the time being now select this this and this 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 shouldn't be selected so shift and then remove this 
to by selecting these you you go to shift and select this this and this okay and then you go to path union so we have this our stick and then we come and put this one on it a bit this we can distort it or leave it as it is we put this one on and give it this color here more or less maybe this or like this something in this ah this is good now this circle i will want to change it to a path so that we can distort it better okay so go to path object to path and so that we, when we go for our uh, edit and edits tool we can distort it a little bit so it doesn't look so round something like this and you can do anything you like i mean just to distort it a bit okay now we want to remove i'll remove the the stroke from this thing we've drawn so we select this go to shift and select this as well and then just remove the stroke we can remove the stroke by going to object go to object fill and stroke so you have this and then you go to the stroke and then just come here to remove the stroke now we bring this i would also remove the stroke from this thing here from the green hexagon we drew so maybe select it and also remove the stroke now this and this we we, uh, we put together maybe i should have put this and this together I remove this for a while so I do a union with this and this hexagon here so I select this and select go to shift and select this as well and then go to path union now I would want to push this in a bit so it looks a bit um, better when it's totally in and it takes the form of the uh, outside of this now we can come and put this on more or less something like this we we can adjust it in any way we want but i think this is another type of pepper now let's put some shine here and some gradients here as well so go for we go for our circle tool and then we draw a circle let me you draw a circle go to shift control and draw a circle something like this is sufficient now let's move the circle on top there because we are going to use white or oh, I let me change it to white and then we um, don't let this if you have a stroke here select the object if you have a stroke I will suggest you remove the stroke so go here to remove the stroke and now come to fill and the fill we want to give it a radial gradient choose this to be white and give it a radial gradient so you see we have some shining something a bit shiny there we copy this we do a duplicate of this oops I sorry go to right click it and do a duplicate and then we put it somewhere here if you don't have if you are using a laptop you can always do a duplicate by going here and pressing duplicate um, there so now you can select everything you've drawn and then go to object group so now we have another paper drawn thank you for watching please help me by subscribing to my channel thank you bye